Hello and welcome to Poem Sunday. This is my weekly poetry program in which uh, I will read one of my own poems and then uh, a poem or two or three of uh, another poet. This week I'm reading more poems because they're quite short and in the haiku form primarily. Some of them I might read also uh, a Japanese tanka poem. So, um, also, I, the reason for this is this week I am organizing and hosting a program at the American Haiku Archives, which is the oldest and largest collection of haiku poetry outside of Japan. Um, <clears throat> so it's an important feature of our community here in Sacramento. We're very fortunate to have it here, and as I said, it goes back many, many years. Um, it's a historical collection, and it's located at the State Library Historical Archives um, at the building at 9th and N. Um, so we will meet there on Friday from 12 to 2 on May 24th, this Friday. If you want to search Facebook, the listing or the event listing is. American Haiku Archives Visit. So search for events and you'll find it there. Dr. Judy Halebski, an old friend of mine, will be visiting and giving a brief 15 to 30 minute talk about haiku. And we will also have a visit from the bureau chief of the services division of the library, the state library. Uh, Rebecca Went is the name of the bureau chief, uh, the services bureau chief, and she hopefully will tell us a little bit about the collection, um, and we'll be able to peruse the archives. So uh, that'll be exciting for those of us who, who enjoy the form. I've written my own haiku and I've published it, but uh, I will read that next Sunday after after our visit because maybe the audience for this will widen because of uh, the visit to the library state library at 9th and N this Friday so instead I'm going this week I'm going to stay with the theme for the month which is somewhat aquatic in nature you know I've read poems about the beach and surfing and that sort of thing and this poem is no exception I published it over 20 years ago in a Harvard publication called scriptorium uh, it won a contest of sorts in order to make it into publication of contests among students and uh, I got to read it at um, the library there not Widener uh, library but geez the name is escaping me so um, this poem is titled conquistador and I know the poem mostly by heart and I will try to recite that but I've dropped some lines at the end I'm going to read you the original published version of my poem and uh, so I might retreat to the text at some some point, but you'll you'll notice how familiar it is to me in the reading. Conquistador. Rock of water, bone and cockle, though sallow cheeked and dappled, your bow still stands in sand and sea. Here lies your final anchor, your keel left creaking in the wind, chrome and slip stripped. Your turquoise sulking hall echoes the love and hate cries of your captain. Dank and splintered, teak planks form a fallow deck, your mast a withering tree. Fish rot nets and brine bleached lines tell of your faena with the sea. In mustard sky you look stranded and sunken, even still you sink deeper, deeper. You reflect the water her frayed nap upon your breath, each wave painting your brackish body. 
Okay. So I have one more uh, aquatic related poem, something related to the ocean or our play with the ocean as human beings uh, next week, but I'll also read uh, maybe a haiku or two or my own. Mm, pro quite pro possibly something I've had published before. But uh, I do want to read um, let's see, first let's read some haiku since we're talking about the haiku visit and then I'll go to the tanka. I'll read um, uh, maybe a few of these haiku. I am not on the page I wanted. Now I am on the page, I believe, so we're better off. This haiku is by Kaze. On a withered branch lingers the evanescent memory of a cicada's voice. That's the poem. I'll read it again. Um, many times I've heard a haiku repeated, so I'll repeat these maybe more than once if it feels like it bears reading the second time. On a withered branch lingers the evanescent memory of a cicada's voice. And this poem is by Issa. Singing as it goes, an insect floats down the stream on a broken bough. I love the, the nature uh, orientation. Most haiku relate to nature and the seats particular seasons and words that attach uh, the haiku poem to this, a specific season. Singing as it goes, an insect floats down the stream on a broken bough. Okay, this one's by Busson. Calling three times, then no more to be heard, the deer in the rain. Calling three times, then no more to be heard, the deer in the rain. And I love this one by Takamasa. Takamasa. Running across the shelf, hoisting a chrysanthemum, a temple mouse. Running across the shelf, hoisting a chrysanthemum, a temple mouse. So just uh, a few good poems there, several good poems. This is another form of uh, some lo a little bit longer lines but still a very short form uh, also Japanese this is by Tomaro Machi Tomaro Machi cherry blossoms cherry blossoms cherry blossoms start blooming in blooming and the park looks as if nothing had happened completely appropriate for this time of year I think right cherry blossoms coming and going and then the park looks like they weren't there that had never happened so uh, another one by tomorrow machi my heart wishing to turn white for a time goes out to amusing lily and keeps its company so some beautiful nature natural forms from uh, the Japanese um, and I hope to see you this Friday right it's uh, been a nice time with you today and uh, have a happy Sunday what's left of your weekend we'll see you next time on Poem Sunday <laughs>